Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Ridley. Uh, she wishes to show you her Christmas outfit. There are dogs running around underfoot. It's all teeing off here. And uh, we're going to hand her over to Gogol Page because uh, she's about to really go mad. There we go. So I hope you all enjoyed meeting her. Um, I also hope that you can hear. We will do our best to make sure that you can hear throughout. Uh, we are living in times of fairly dodgy internet, uh, fairly dodgy uh, electricity. And yes, my wife is behind the keys as usual. And that's probably why Ridley is behaving like a troll. That's not why she's behaving like a troll. She's been behaving like a troll for some time. I think that's what babies do. All right. Um, so we weren't going to do a Christmas concert this year. Uh, I was being sad, I was quite sad about it, and then Kirsten said to me, she said, you know, you should do a Christmas concert. And then Gogol Page got involved, and uh, Gogol Page uh, is not a woman that you trifle with, she's not a woman to whom you say no, and she said, you are going to do one, and I said, yes, we are. And uh, then Emma said she would do it, and some of you who have watched before will remember Emma from before and she is going to join us. Uh, the only sort of negative, if you can call it that, about tonight's performance is that, other than the performance, if it goes badly, but I'm, I'm hoping it won't. The only negative is that uh, many of these songs you will have heard before because, you know, I am a new dad, and so it's been quite difficult to find the time to rehearse. So that's where we find ourselves. Okay. We're going to go on with the first song. Unless Kirsten has something to say. Nothing? Okay, sound is good. Um, I'm going to kill this microphone, which is uh, that you're hearing me with on now. And I'm going to sing the song from, um, it was from Stings on a Winter's Night, which I've sung many songs from before. And it's completely incongruous because it's all about snow and winter and all that sort of thing. And it's so hot here right now, uh, 32 degrees Celsius, that's not Fahrenheit, that is about, oh, it's a good 90 degrees with 100% humidity. So it's pretty warm in this part of the world, and it's beautiful, beautiful weather for Christmas here in KwaZulu-Natal. Not for the US now, I know those of you in the US are having a really torrid time, uh, weather-wise, so I hope this will warm you up slightly. <laughs> okay, here we go. The snow it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing And the corn it ripens fastest when the frost is settling in And when a woman tells me my face she'll soon forget Before we'll part I'll wage a cruel she'll fade to follow yet Oh, the snow, it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing And the swallow skims without a thought as long as it is spring But when spring blows and winter grows My lassie, you'll be fain for all your pride to follow me across the stormy main. Oh, the snow, it melts the soonest when the wind begins to sing. And the bee that flew when summer shone in winter cannot sting. I've seen a woman's anger melt betwixt the night and morn Oh surely it's not a harder thing to tame a woman's scorn
will never say me farewell here, no farewell I and you shall set me to the style and kiss and take your leave. I'll stay here till the curly calls, the martlet takes his way. Oh, the snow it melts the soonest where the winds begin to sing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm going to drink whiskey now. Would you like a... You don't drink whiskey. Emma's recently 18. I'm making a ring on some antique furniture. That's not good. I'll put this on the ground. Yes. Okay, Kirsten, are there any questions for us, or is there a deathly silence? Everyone is clapping and saying they're so happy and incredible. 
Yes. Yes. Thank you, Google Page, for insisting on the concert. Where is the Kraken? Where is the Kraken? She's gone to sleep. As you hand her, she Google Page put the Kraken to sleep. That's fantastic. Only she could have done that. Well done. Perhaps Brandy was involved. Tune the guitar. Tune the guitar down. Right. Thank you. Okay. We're just going to tune the guitar down. Thanks, Jensen. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Um, I hope everything in the United States is okay. I know that you are very cold. I know that um, my old friend Mary Joswiak is stuck inside with uh, 13 cats and two dogs, which I imagine must be quite difficult. Um, and I hope that the rest of you are I mean, I suspect many of you are in this sort of similar situation, possibly not with 13 cats, but uh, I hope that you have family with you. And if you haven't managed to get home to family or be joined by family because of the weather, our apologies. Uh, I know this is a very tricky time of year for some people, and um, I'm always cognizant of that. What's of your favourite part, you know? My favourite part of Christmas is the music. I love Christmas music. I just have to take this down a bit because it's quite high for one of us. Okay, here we go. Hey, don't forget to mute myself, right? Right, I'm muting myself. Here we go.
I think there's a certain sense of relief uh, when the end of that song comes because uh, I think we both find it quite difficult. Um, oh, um, well, I did write this down, but I can't read my writing. It uh, dates from the 16th century, part of the play, the pageant of the Shearman and Taylor, Sherman and the Taylors, something like that. Um, it's about the massacre of the innocents, okay? So, I mean, that's fairly clear about uh, when old Erid said that all young boys should be killed. He wasn't a nice man. I think we can safely say that. One doesn't like to judge uh, people of history too harshly, but I think Herod will go down with the likes of Joseph Stalin, perhaps, and come back as a hooded vulture. Uh, for that is how awful he was. The, what's the song called? The song is called The Coventry Carol. I should have told you that, actually. And like I say, from the 16th century and from the play, a pageant for the Shearman and the Tailor. I'm, so The Coventry Carol, if you want more, less garbled information on it, your best bet is to look up The Coventry Carol on um, the interweb and you will find a lot of good information, no doubt. Oh, a nice shout out to Colleen, Sue and Bridget in the United Kingdom. Excuse me, not looking at you. I'm just trying to tune this guitar. Hello, Colleen, Sue and Bridget, uh, friends of Google Page, uh, the Kraken Whisperer. The Kraken is sleeping, yes. We are filled with joy and gratitude. For the Kraken is not a good sleeper. Are we done shortly, Yvonne? The Coventry The Coventry Carol. The Coventry Carol. So Coventry, as in the United Kingdom, Coventry. C-O-V-E-N-T-R-Y, Coventry. I will get this eventually. This is Emma's fault because she refuses to sing the thing in its original key. Um, Susie, would I consider my singing folk genre? No, I don't. I'm not sure that I would actually. Um, I think it, uh, there are elements of folk to it, folk rock, I guess. But I mean, I'm hoping that the the lu li lu la sounded quite sort of choral. Christians, Kirsten, I think there's just deathly silence on the internet there. Still marvelling at Emma's voice. I'm going to do uh, one on my own now, 
And uh, last year I did a Johnny Clegg song called uh, African Sky Blue. This year I'm going to do Great Heart. And the reason I'm going to do Great Heart? Nothing to do with Christmas. It's just a really nice song. I really enjoy it and I know uh, a lot of you enjoy it too. So we'll do the Great Heart. Then we'll do one other non-Christmassy song, my wife's very favourite song in the whole world. And then we'll move on to some more Christmassy stuff. Just look at the OBS there and see. Can you see it there? Okay. This is what happens when you get married. I mean, I must say, for the most part, whenever I get irritated about an instruction I've been given, the wisdom of that instruction becomes apparent shortly afterwards. <laughs> My father-in-law is nodding his head vigorously from the left.
Thank you very much. Uh, right, Emma, you may now return. And we'll unplug yeah. that. That goes a long sip of apple juice. Take this guitar away. <clears throat> now, I would like to dedicate this song to the kind people. I mean, I'm, the standard of how it comes out, I can't guarantee, but I would like to dedicate the spirit of the song, certainly, to the very wonderful people of Love More Music in Ilovo in Johannesburg. If you have a child and you are in South Africa, uh, even if you're an adult and you're thinking about learning a musical instrument and you want to learn a musical instrument, um, then you should buy that musical instrument um, and everything that you might need for that musical instrument from the good people at Love More Music in Ilovo. Well, they are wonderful. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Danny. Uh, now I need to, they've given me this piece of equipment or sold me this piece of equipment that is deeply confusing to use. And I hope that I'm not going to let myself down by uh, not using it correctly. Yes, I think we've got that. Yes, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Kirsten, are you ready for your favorite song? Are there, there are no questions, I'm assuming? No, everyone's saying please don't sing the next song. They're not saying that. Kirsten says everyone's asking us not to sing the next song. She's lying. Okay, here it comes. If I ever get out of here, thought I'd get it all away to a registered charity. All I need is a pint a day. If we ever get out of here, if we ever get out of here.
so much. Thank you, my dear, for tolerating that song. Thank, Thank you. you for tolerating that song. Okay. Grumpy yes? Grumpy old man, I... Thank you, Emma. Um, but, uh, grumpy old man, I think you've asked me that question because you know that it will get up my nose. Um, I find Boney M's Christmas music to be uh, nigh on the most offensive Christmas music uh, imaginable. I know there are many of you who probably like it. That's fine. I'm not saying it's objectively bad. I'm just saying that my highly subjective brain is unable to tolerate um, Boney M's Christmas music. Do you like Boney M's Christmas music? You don't know what it is, do you? I'm sure you have. No, probably best. Judy Edge, the Kraken is still asleep, as far as we can tell. Google Page is giving us a double thumbs up, uh, which is very positive, because it's terrifying when the Kraken is not asleep. Uh, literally, this is absolutely terrifying. I've never been so terrified in my life, and she weighs 4.6 kilos. Uh, yeah, anyway, there it goes. Um, any other questions, Kirsten? Oh. By Wild About Safari, I'm not writing the fourth Bush book just yet. I'm in the middle of a... I basically spend my life changing nappies. Um, so, no Bush book just yet. I will sort this problem out. I think you're asking quite a lot. <laughs> but yes, we'll do our best. Emma Cranston. Spell Cranston for us. There we go, Cranston. OK. Um, I felt there was something else desperately I wanted to say, but I've forgotten what it was. All right, the next song we're going to do is a beautiful, beautiful song. And the only reason we're doing it um, is because of Emma, really. Uh, that's why I chose to do it last year. That's why I chose to do it again this year. Uh, it doesn't have a particularly um, profound, meaningful place in my heart. But I heard somebody singing it, and I thought, you know, who can sing that really rather well is Emma. Uh, it is from Adolf A. Adam, uh, 1847. Music originally set to a French poem, a Minuet Chrétien, the Midnight Christians. Author of the lyrics was a uh, wine peddler, uh, and his name was Placide Capot. Uh, and it wasn't meant, he wasn't religious in the slightest. It's a very religious song, but the wine peddler uh, Placide Capot was not very religious at all, although he wrote a very religious and rather pretty little song, which we will now sing for you. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes, Good. Yes, Emma is terrified of this song with no reason. Soul felt its 
Why uh, we chose that song, or why I chose that song? Ah, I agree. I'm just going to drink heavily quickly. Let's not encourage this. It's just just introduce. Should be encouraged, Emma. Marcy wants to know Ridley likes your singing. Marcy Ridley does like my singing a little bit more than her mother does. Um, but uh, I look, I'm not going to describe her as a super fan yet. I haven't managed to put her to sleep with my singing. I have managed to sort of get her to look, which at this stage of her development is not bad, I don't think. Um, 
But, but we, I think the jury's out, really. I have no doubt that later in life she is going to be deeply embarrassed by my antics uh, on the guitar as I get older and even more eccentric and uh, less um, concerned about m what I appear as in public, and she becomes more concerned about such things. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I can't guarantee that she will ever love my singing, but I, you know, I hope so. Right, the next one. Any questions? Other questions? No questions? Oh, good. I'm glad you're all enjoying this thoroughly. The next one uh, is... Look, I think that we've done it quite ropely in the past. I feel that our practices have been ropey at best of this uh, particular song. Uh, we, I like it. I don't think Emma likes it particularly hugely. Um, I just really like it, and so we're going to do it. Because it's my camera, and so we should just do what I say. And I'm also much older than her, so she has to do what I say. Um, you may hear a small miniature Doberman pincher barking in the background. It could easily be a rat. And yes, and it's called The Three Ships. And there's a looping thing that goes on with the foot that is very confusing for my right foot while my fingers are operating, but we'll see what happens. Okay, okay here we go. Uh, 17th century, possibly from Derbyshire. Uh, nobody has, has any idea why there were three ships. Uh, possibly some sort of allegory to the three magi, although why they should have been ships, uh, I'm not really sure. Possibly they're camels, uh, ships of the desert. But it doesn't really make any sense that uh, they should be talked about as sailing. So, yeah, I don't know. Three ships that um, purported relics of the biblical magi. Yes, yeah, no, look, I don't know. Could be. They're the only three things that happened in the uh, nativity story. Are you ready? I saw three ships come sailing in. Stop that there, and we're just going to leave that out and just carry on and forget the solos. Here we go. Sorry, I apologise. Okay. I have made a horrible mess of it. But because, uh, well, it's a free concert, <laughs> we're going to just do it again. You can watch last year. Um, I'm yeah. very sorry. No, it's fine. There we go. One, two, three. I saw three ships come sailing on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. in those ships so three on Christmas Day on Christmas Day and what was in those ships so three on Christmas Day in the morning I saw three 
ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships of three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships of three on Christmas Day in the morning? I'll save your Christ and his lady. Christmas Day on Christmas Day, the Savior Christ and His Lady on Christmas Day in the morning. Pray with us, sail those ships of three on Christmas Day on Christmas Day. Pray with us, sail those ships of three on Christmas Day in the morning. For the uh, incredible mess there. Uh, it was funny, I hope. Just not It was probably it. quite funny. Uh, we don't, uh, like I said to Emma, she said to me, What if we, if we make a mess of it? And I said, Well, no. you know, um, after all the late nights and all of that sort of thing, and you know, the f very fact that we're here, I think, is probably reward enough. Uh, so I don't really care. You know, we'll, I'm sure everyone will be very tolerant and um, they'll get through it. And I, I think you have. You have got through it. Thank you very much, everybody, for that. Now is Emma's favourite song. Uh, this is the song Soul Cake. Uh, okay. You've all been asking for this. This is not a Christmas song. Um, it was made a Christmas song by Sting, I think. Uh, it's actually about All Souls Night and when poor beggars go knocking about people's homes asking for souling cakes, which were sort of biscuits with crosses in them, um, current biscuits, if you like. Um, I just can't help but think of uh, me mother's Christmas cake when I sing this song. My mother doesn't talk like this. I imagine the beggars who were in this story probably talk like this, but the, uh, my mother doesn't talk like this. Uh, mince pies, that sort of thing. You know, the kind of dried fruit that uh, goes along with uh, Christmas, and that's what I think about when I uh, sing this song. What do you think about Emma? No, not much. No, no. It's not a great deal. Oh, yeah. No, 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 that is a problem. That's a big problem, that. Okay, here we go with uh, Soul Cake. I've just got to load it up on the iPad behind me. Please go. 
that messes us all Cake and apple, a pear, a plum or a cherry Any good thing to make us all merry A soul cake, a soul cake Please good messes a soul cake One for Peter, two for Paul And three for him that made us all A soul cake, a soul cake Please good messes a soul cake An apple, a pear, a plum or a cherry Any good thing to make us all merry God bless the master of this house And his mistress also Is a soul cake, an apple, a pear, a plum, or a cherry. Any good thing to make us all merry. A soul cake, a soul cake. Please, good Mrs. A soul cake. One for Peter, two for Paul, and three for him that made us all. God rest in Mary, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. For all tidings of comfort and Go down into the cellar and see what you can find If the barrels are not empty, we'll hope that you'll be kind We'll hope that you'll be kind with your apple and your pear And we'll come no more less soul until Christmas time next year I'll A soul cake, a soul cake, please good missus a soul cake And apple, a pear, a plum, or a cherry Two for Paul and three for him that made us all. The streets are very dirty, the shoes are very thin. I have a little pocket to put a penny in. If you have a to four four and three four and that made us all thank you so much thank you very much Alan's calling, my dear. It's an, uh, an ad. Uh, it was a free app I got for playing media. No one's calling. No one's calling. Um, unless her name is over the horizon. Uh, it's, she, it, 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 there's no one called over the horizon, my dear. Right. Um, Something I wanted to say about that song. Oh yes, I must make mention of me, me dad, uh, as we sang that song, because it was him growling in the bottom there, going, "All this merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay." It was him. Uh, we recorded that in September, about three or four years ago. Four years ago. Oh, it was great fun. Uh, everybody in uh, my family today is uh, having their Christmas Eve dinner in Kenton on Sea which is a small seaside town on the Eastern Cape of South Africa. And that's where they are now, uh, mercifully oblivious, I think, to what's going on here. My mother asked me to record it. It's on YouTube. I'll have to explain that to her when I get down there. Okay, the final song of the evening is Gayla Peavy's, well, she made it famous um, when she was 10 in 1953. Uh, Song, uh, I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Very impractical. Um, if uh, my daughter asks me for a hippopotamus for Christmas, I will give her a lesson on the biology of hippopotami, and hopefully that will dissuade her of wanting to have a hippopotamus. Christmas, only hippopotamus.
this will do. Don't want a doll, no dinky tinker toy. I want a hippopotamus to play with and enjoy. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't think Santa Claus will mind to you. He won't have to use our dirty chimney flue. Just bring him through the front door, that's the easy thing to do. I can see me now on Christmas morning, creeping down the stairs. Oh, what a joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to see a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too. Mom says a hippo would eat me up, but then teacher says a hippo is a vegetarian. There's lots of room for him in now to car garage. I'd feed him there and wash him there and give him his massage. Oh, I can see me now on Christmas morning, creeping down the stairs. Oh, what a joy and what surprise when I open up my eyes to find a hippo hero standing there. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only hippopotamus will do. No crocodiles, no rhinoceroses. I only like hippopotamuses and hippopotamuses like me too. Encore's band on the run. Encore's band on the run, I like. My wife loves every shopping, uh, shopping center Christmas song in the world. And um, I, don't I don't very much. Uh, jingle bells, eh? Jingle bells, Batman smells. Robin Lane. Batman feels broken. Feeling the joke of going away. You know that one. Yeah, that's the words, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Jingle Bells. Go for it. Jingle Bells, Batman's Bells. That's the encore. Oh, Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Goodbight. Okay. <laughs> I just said I keep streaming. I keep, I keep streaming, but uh, let's questions. choose. Any questions? But um, which song would they like us to do? Because this is it. This is all we have. So we can repeat a song. The hippo song says, My father in law. I love the hippo song. There's a 20 second delay between when we speak and you see us speak. Everyone's laughing. No, 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 All right, shall we just do the hip hop? Here, here we go.
Mrs. and hippopotamuses like me too. Mom says a hippo would eat me up, but then teacher says a hippo is a vegetarian. But frankly, I think we did very well given the time allowed. And uh, I thank you to Gogo Page for your Christmas tree, for insisting that we did this. Uh, thank you for um, uh, for the exceptional scotch. Thank you to my father-in-law. Thank you to my wife for producing a child and drinking champagne behind the camera. And uh, thank you to the Kraken for going to sleep. And most of all, of course, thank you to Emma. And thank, thank you, you to Jane for having me. Yeah. Thank, thank you. I, I didn't sound too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a relief. <laughs> okay. But thank, but thank you, everyone, for watching. See you all soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And bye bye.